Hello, YouTube. It's Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. So first off, we are looking at altcoins because as you can see, see if we can get to the video. Uh, if you can see, currently the Bitcoin halving is nine days and one hour, 17 minutes, 16 minutes and 59 seconds away. So just keep that in mind as we go through the video. The Bitcoin having is really close, right? It's almost um, up on us. Just checking to make sure. And making sure that they're trying to work on this echo here, actually. But let me know what you guys think and if you can hear over. Okay, just want to make sure. That's weird. Uh, just double checking. Let me know. Testing one, two, testing, testing. Trying to figure out where this echo is coming from. Uh, 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 see if that helped any, see if that's helping any bit. It's clear. Trying to see, testing, testing. That's weird. Oh, it's working fine, but I guess let's see here with the levels maybe it's a level thing but let me know if it gets too crazy or if it gets too out of control but let's look at the crypto bubbles so today chlor is down 2.6 beams down beam is up 2.7 let me start over clear chlor is down 2.6 6.2 i'm sorry i'm tripping uh beam is up 2.7 Blocky's up two point down two point five. Uh, Luna is down three point eight. Arkham's down seven point four. Aletheia AI is down three point three. File is down four point eight. Uh, Book of Meme is up point six. Harin uh, is up three point eight. Uh, Nero. AI, which is XNA, is down 5.2. Cron's down 4.4. Myro's down 5.7. KDA is down 3.6. Jasmine's down 2 points, is up 2.6. Uh, Injects is down 2.7. Uh, Polkadot is down 6.6. Uh, Fetch AI is down 1.4. Link is down 1.9. Con is up 1.8. Uh, Archblock is down 5.7. SEI is down 4.1. Uh, FTT is down 4.4. I'm not even sure why people are still investing in FTT. Bonk is up 2.6. Uh, AI Tech is down 5.5. Zethium is down 10.3. LCX is down 2.8. Renders down 2.6. Songberg is down 1.8. Elite is down 1.9. Dodge is down 2%. Uh, Safe Moon is down 4.10. Starlink is down 5.8. Myra is down 8.5. ADA Cardano is down 4.6. Blur is down 6.7. Gala is down 5.7. So this is not financial advice, but if you're getting in any of these tokens, it would be a good time to get in while they're red, right? You always want to buy on red days. And looks like uh and looks like you need to uh Looks like you need to, uh, let's see. I was reading a text, sorry there. Looks like you need to go ahead and do your research and see what's going on. And I do have, let's see, did we post anything to the Twitter channel? No. 
So let's see. I want to play this video real quick before uh, top uh, RWAs. And we did do a video on RWA yesterday. So it's actually pretty good. Go ahead and check out that stream from yesterday if you get a minute. There's a lot of uh, really useful information in there as well. So just checking something. That's weird. Yeah, sorry, just checking some things here. Um, let's play this real quick. This uh, top RWA all coins for 2024. Make sure you research that um, all coins, and especially RWAs. RWAs are going to be something big in the future uh it is what was that wa coin set to skyrocket in 2024 the first is swarm markets swarm markets makes trading different assets using blockchain tokens much easier than it is swarm markets also allows financial institutions and retail investors to trade on their platform next we have mantra Mantra offers blockchain tools for building compliant applications. Institutions and developers have their eyes on Mantra because it presents users with a safe and regulatory compliant space. And then we have Polytrade. Polytrade is a real world asset marketplace. It connects sellers, buyers, insurers, and investors to streamline trading. Polytrade also has a project called Reflection. Reflection NFTs link your regular assets to digital ownership. Then we have Nexera. Nexera Finance enables businesses to manage financial and real world assets while ensuring compliance with regulations. Startups with innovative ideas use Nexera to raise capital and launch their token. And lastly, we have Clearpool. With its Credit Vault on Avalanche, Clearpool is transforming the DeFi lending process. With Credit Vaults, you can borrow and get higher yields if you become a lender. Here are the top RWA coins set to skyrocket in 2024. The first is Swarm Market. So those are the RWA coins, and I think that was, uh, re I'm trying to remember what RWA is, kind of got uh, off focus, trying to figure out what was going on, but we got back on track now. So see if we can get to the, okay, so RWA is top coins with retail, real world assets. So in the video from yesterday, it mentioned a lot of these tokens, which you can do. Uh, one of them was partnering with real estate companies. So you can actually use your investment to buy into real estate or buy into property through uh, crypto. So Ondo would be one of the top ones. Uh, Mantra, uh, Petal, XDC Network. Uh, Polyflesh, uh, Centrifuge, LCX, uh, Dusk, uh, TrueFi. Just going to, oh yeah, and Clearpool. But I got a video we're going to get to in a second where they are going through that as well. Let me change this down a little bit. And let's go to the video. Let's see here. This guy's talking about just the all coin, sorry, all coins for uh, low cap all coins for 2024. So let's see what he has to talk about. This is Altcoin Daily. So shout out to Altcoin Daily. And I was trying to get the stream working with Twitter, so I've been kind of fidgeting around today. I think we're live. We are live. What the hell? Oh my God, no way. Yeah, they messed around and let me get in the Twitter live feed. So we are live. And it took me a while. I've been working on this for weeks, actually. But I, uh, I guess they finally turned it on because at first it wouldn't. It said something about uh, this feature is not available or something. I don't know. But it's working now. So let me know if there's anybody from Twitter on so far. So shout out to the Twitter army as well. Let's kick through this video for uh, guns. These are top altcoins that are low caps. Big partnership slash integration for guns. Huge news for all guns users and builders. Guns is integrating with OpenSea, making it the ninth blockchain to be supported by this leading NFT marketplace. If you don't know about guns, 
Players and OpenSea users alike will be able to trade in-game items natively on the GUNS chain through OpenSea using the GUN token, which will work for any game built on the GUNS blockchain starting with Off the Grid. So this is a massive injection of utility for GUNS with this partnership. Even the AVAX CEO acknowledging this. With GUNS on OpenSea, you'll be able to trade arms, legs, body armor, and of course, GUNS to use in the game. This is one of the leading blockchain games out there. But speaking of NFT marketplace, I like Creatorhood and their token Khood. I think Creatorhood has the potential to be an even better version of what OpenSea does. So this is like if OpenSea, Blur, and FriendTech combined, because this gives revenue back to the users. Team is doxxed with experience across Harvard, TradFi hedge funds, Board Ape Yacht Club Council, and raised over $7 million with big-time advisors, including yours truly. K-Hood is the token, launching April 10th. Polkadot, active addresses hit a record 600 Good morning, Texas Crypto. What's Got going on, man? Polkadot is down price. Imagine making $453,000 in a single month as an affiliate marketer without relying and narrative wise but polka dot is not out and polka dot 2.0 is right around the corner chain gpt a blue chip this year in the ai crypto space big announcement we are accelerating ai development with one million dollars worth of grants so companies are applying for this now and basically what chain gpt is offering access to advanced sdk tools cross marketing and promotion mentorship and networking chain gpt is one to watch this bull cycle karate combat karate token i like karate token and karate combat for the entertainment aspect i use the karate token for its intended use betting on these games and the fighters it's highly entertaining in my opinion i'll actually be in attendance for the dubai april 20th fight so i think this organization is going to continue getting bigger and better both in the entertainment space fighting space and in the crypto space metamask users many of them are getting an airdrop of a meme token called foxy foxy linea foxy is the mascot to linea and the first ever culture coin built to reward the community so yeah, MetaMask users, many of them, especially those who've used the swap feature, are getting airdropped these tokens, as well as users of these few products in front of you. Seems like the airdrop is going to MetaMask users, Linea users, and kind of Ethereum company users. Or Ethereum yeah, generally, uh, Texas crypto. I don't. I wasn't on in the morning, but I'm going to Bible study tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this video out here today. So in case it's late, when I get back, I don't have to worry about it. But I want to go ahead and get videos out because of the having is nine days away, nine days and one hour. So I want to make sure we get all the information out as we can. And let's see, we'll go back to these altcoins. Hey, this airdrop is still pre-pump. I speculate and say that because this airdrop is still pre-price history. Cody, one of the fastest, lightest, and most confidential L2s on Ethereum, or at least that's the goal, has its big version 2 coming. Actually, the founder just getting featured in a number of articles talking about their tech. Bullish on Cody, still liking TRX, Trex 20, or is it T-Rex 20? Is it Trex or T-Rex 20? Well, it's revolutionizing and pioneering in GameFi built on the Bitcoin protocol. So this is the big difference here with a lot of other things. This is a Bitcoin token. This is DeFi or smart contracts on Bitcoin. GameFi built on the Bitcoin protocol with multiple games plus an NFT Fi marketplace and progressive lotto under one roof. Trex 20 is finally live. Prominent DEXs, prominent sexes. I like Pancake Swap. I like Gate IO. I like Maxi. And right now they're doing some juicy staking APR, trying to incentivize their community, their base, not to sell, but get rewarded by staking. And this was interesting. Trex 20, TX 20 is now live and trading and trending in many countries currently. I did not predict this, that this coin would be trending. I'm overly excited to see how this one will be performing, especially as my thesis remains. We will be seeing a huge pump in the BRC20 ecosystem very soon. Yeah, guys, in my opinion, one thing is clear. The Bitcoin token ecosystem is just getting bigger. 
just getting more plumbing, more infrastructure. So let me know what you guys think about the Bitcoin ecosystem. If you guys are into it or not into it, or if you think it's going to uh, pan out. And this is top 15 AI meme coins from Crypto Archie. And some of these I agree with, some of them I don't. I'll let you know as the video goes, but we're going to get into that as well. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for supporting BTM. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go and hit the like button. Looks like I only got one like so far. So hit the like button on the video. Let me know what you guys think. And let's get back to it. Most of these are meme coins, just because I don't think there's that many AI coins that are actually half decent. Most of them are just copied versions of, of others or chat GPT wannabes or telegram bots or whatever right but in this one we're going to be talking about ai and meme coins so let's get straight into it the first pick on this list is dex check dck charts looking like a buy right now 31 million dollar market cap this is a launch pad they use ai as well for kind of crypto insights so you can really kind of research the crypto space snipe things use trading um, kind of algorithms and bots and things like that um, and Dex Check really helps out with all of that type of stuff. So very solid crypto. One of the main reasons why I like Dex Check is just because of the sheer number of listings that they already have at such an early stage in the project's development. Um, you guys know that I like to look at exchange listings. This is one of the main things that drives the marketing and the price pumps of a crypto. And DCK um, certainly has the potential to get those tier one listings. So Really good buy right now, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure the Patreon's got this one around 0 0.017, right? So if we calculate this, they are currently up. Let's work it out. Divide that by 0 0.017. I think it was 17. They're up 5x on their money, right? And I'm up 5x on my money. So we got this one pretty much at the all-time low, I think, as we usually do with cryptos. That's definitely a reason why you should consider joining my Patreon. We are actually running a discount for lifetime crypto payments. If you are interested, make sure to drop us an email. It's linked in the description. Dex check is one we got some nice gains on. We were actually up around 10x, I think, up here. I took my initial out, as I usually do with cryptos, just to be on the safe side. But I'm going to hold this moon bag probably for the rest of the bull run because I'm very bullish on this project. I like what they're doing. It's one of the most underrated launch pads as well. Next one is probably my most bullish meme coin at the moment, and that is Moki. Okay. I believe this is Brian Armstrong's cap. I'm not going to talk too much on the memes because there's not really that much to talk about other than the chart, the exchanges, and the meme itself. This is on base, right? Very bullish on base memes. And I think this one is. Very underrated when you look at the market cap of just 55 million. This thing's easily a 10x. And there's a lot of talk about base. And I've been looking at base, been researching it, and in the process of moving some Ethereum over, I think base is going to be really big in the bull run. One, because it's with Coinbase. And if Coinbase can uh, surpass the, uh, what is that, that SEC and the lawsuits i think coinbase is posing itself to be a big player in the crypto market i also think allegedly the u.s government and the sec is more apt to help coinbase run versus uh i think it took out ft was it ftx uh was it kucoin is it kucoin that they're investigating now and also they investigated, it was, I think it was three of them. What was the other one? Another failed exchange. But I think that they are cleaning up all the bad actors in the market. So when people do start FOMOing in and fully investing in the crypto, there won't be a lot of, you definitely, uh, what's up financial failure? Welcome back. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, uh, Thanks for joining the channel. And I think that they are investigating KuCoin, right? But I think once these investigations and the smoke settles, Coinbase is going to be one of the leading uh, crypto exchanges 
in the world and with them investigating the other ones. And so far, Coinbase has been pretty um, helpful with the uh, the SEC investigation. So I think that's going to do volumes for them going forward. But let's get back to the video and let me know what altcoins you guys are currently looking and investing in. Probably even 100x potential on this one, right? Go check it out. Moki on base. Next one is MAGA Trump coin. I think this one's going to do very well during the US election. It's consolidating right now. It's just had a nice pump. And this is weird because I've heard a lot of people saying that some, something's odd going up with this one. As the election approaches, and I'm not trying to get political, but if this guy doesn't win, I think this coin's going to pump like crazy. Well, if he wins, if he wins, I think it's definitely going to pump like crazy. But if he doesn't win, I think there's going to be a lot of weird stuff happening and of which there's going to be a lot of support through this uh, MAGA coin. I don't recommend buying it, but uh, this is not financial advice. Do what you want to do, but uh, I'm not sure about that play. I think yesterday. So it's kind of cooling off right now. Could be a nice time to grab a bag. Uh, it's also got some okay exchanges. One of the concerns some people have with this one is because of its polarizing nature. It may struggle to get those tier one listings. But I don't personally think that because Pepe is also a polarizing meme coin, believe it or not. It has political roots. So I think this one also can get a Binance listing. It's certainly possible. Now, I'm not betting on it. I think it will pump regardless. MAGA coin... It's on Solana. It's also on base now. I like the multi-chain kind of factor going on here. So I am bullish on MAGA Trump coin. I think this one can probably do like a 50x in the bull run. A lot of potential there. Next one we have here is Peng. And this is a outsider play because it's dumped a lot. But you see these meme coins do these types of dumps very frequently. And then they do recover, right? An 80 to 90% dump on a meme coin. Yeah, I think that people underestimate that with meme coins. Since there's no utility behind them, there's definitely going to be a lot of pumping and dumping going on. And with some of these, I think that it's the same people that are pumping and dumping. The same people or organization or financial institution, right? Put a lot in, let it go up, build it up, and then dump it as well. But we'll see. Let me finish this video. Coin is not the same as an 80 to 90% dump on a utility coin. They can absolutely still come back from these types of dumps. It's on Solana. It's a penguin meme. It's got a pretty big community. And the exchange listings are also pretty good. So somewhat bullish on Peng. Next one is an AI coin. And this is Betansor Tau. I never picked the bag of Bit and Saw Tau up, but I always appreciated the decentralized nature of it. This is all about machine learning, right? Setting out the decentralized infrastructure for AI, essentially. Bullish on this one. Don't know how much it can do for... Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold the phone. So you're saying for every 10, for every one ZBEC, you're going to get 10 uh, ZBCN coins? And where are they, uh, where are they migrating to? And how do you get these tokens for migration, Israel brother? I'm definitely going to check that out. And financial failure. I'm not into many altcoins other than the altcoins I mine. I'm DGing into Rose and Casper. So what are you mining? Because currently I'm mining um, a few tokens. And I want to diversify. It's kind of what we've been saying on the channel. So I'm mining a lithium, uh, Perrin, Cubic. I'm trying to get this CPU miner up, if you've seen the previous video, to mine Cubic's uh, Cedra and Hosted network. So I'm trying to get the CPU miner up so we can get that one going as well. And I'm anxious to see about this z -back thing. So let me see if I can pull that up while this video is running from here to be honest it's 3.8 billion in market cap now so maybe it's got a 10x left in it personally i would buy casper over tau just because they're around the same market cap and i personally think casper has the edge to be more mainstream and make it potentially to the top five 
But nevertheless, Bittensaw Tau or Betensa Tau, I am bullish on. I just don't have a bag personally. Next one we have is Pepe, 3 billion market cap as well. 10x potential for sure, maybe 15x, maybe even 20x. This is like a blue chip meme coin right now. It's almost on the same kind of standard as a Dogecoin or a Shiba Inu. Chart's looking really nice. It's consolidated after a major pump. You know, after this big of a pump on Pepe, it's surprising it didn't come down lower, right? But it just shows the strength of Pepe and the meme itself. This is a real life meme as opposed to many of these other meme coins, which are just created memes for the purpose of crypto. So I can see Pepe still pumping a lot from this price, but I wouldn't buy it just because the X's aren't going to be too high for my personal liking. But if you do want a kind of higher echelon meme that's a safer meme coin, Pepe is one to consider. Next, we have Cat in a Dog's World. The ticket is Mew. $340 million market cap. I think this one has potentially 20x potential. Some really solid listings. Maybe it can get a Binance. The meme's pretty good. Nothing more to say, really, to be honest. Next, we have Normie Coin, which I think is a hilarious meme. Uh, we use this term a lot, Normie, especially when we're talking about people on Coinbase and people who can't get low-cap cryptos. It's got a HTX listing. Again, I like HTX as a listing. I see it almost as a prerequisite to a tier one listing. So if a crypto has a HTX listing, maybe they're going to get a crypto.com. Maybe they're going to get a Binance. So it's always a good sign when a crypto has HTX. So I did just see this. I'm not into too many of them. So Alpha Cedra, Dynex, I gave up on Dynex some time ago. Uh, Neoxa, and all that's in my. Yeah, no, I, I got pretty fed up with Dynex and them not helping with some of the problems we're having. So, uh, what's BTG? Let me look that up. Satosan and Noxy. So this is from um, Israel Brother. You mentioned that there was. Go ahead and like uh, the videos. I still see one like here. So this is ZBC migrating to ZBCN. Will begin trading on exchanges tomorrow, April 10th. This is April 10th. Under the new ticker sign, read about Z B C N tokenomics details and how to swap your Z B C on a migration site. So can you still do it? Can you still buy uh Z Beck and swap it over? As soon as it's over, you'll be able to buy the one token. Bitcoin gold. Okay. But I'm going to have to look at this real quick. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at the Z back. I'm going to check that out as well. And this is uh, your latest place on migration that was yesterday. So I'm trying to see if there was any other news here. It's now live and trading under new ticker. Check out our migration site to migrate your ZBC to ZBCN at migration let's see here migrate tokens let's get started decentralized infrastructure for streamless flows and real world value zbeck protocol became the zbeck network to better reflect our diverse range of blockchain enabled products and integrated structure behind them Accompanying this change to the new token ZBCN migration period April 10th. 10th. So, yeah, I, gotta, I guess you got to connect the wallet. Was it going to connect the wallet just yet? And see more options. Oh, wow. I guess I can connect the Phantom wallet, but we'll check that out later as well. So, currently it is 0.0. .0 three three four and we can i guess get one and migrate it to get 10 that's definitely worth checking into
Uh, let me keep this up. Uh, oops, I think I closed the wrong one. Dang it. But I'll have to look that up, but I'll get back to these altcoins. Bullish and he's at Normie. Land Wolf on AVAX, okay? Make sure you get the right one. Normie is part of uh, the base network as well, I think. The one on this one, if you're considering buying. This is on Avalanche, okay? In my opinion, this is the best Avalanche meme coin because it's also linked to Pepe. It's one of Pepe's friends. The other Pepe friends coins went really, really high, but for some reason, Landwolf on AVAX hasn't really pumped yet. So there's a good amount of potential on this one. I imagine this one to do pretty good gains, maybe 100x potential. That would put it at 2 billion market cap, 100x. Very, very possible this cycle. Next, we have an AI coin, and that is Chain GPT. This is a solid AI coin. It's a launch pad, kind of like DexCheck, but even bigger. I think these actually maybe incubated DexCheck. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but who knows? Yeah, the website's clean. They've got a lot of different services here. They've got um obviously their launch pad, but they've also got a chat bot. So that's like chat gbt like all these ai cryptos nft generator all of these cool gimmicks i mean ai crypto is mostly a gimmick if i'm being honest i mean there's some good things like fit and sort out actually lay out a good infrastructure for ai but for the most part it's just a gimmick right to try and get people's money and, and sales and just to basically pump the price of these cryptos pretty much but yeah some cool things are for people who are into that and yeah, the chart looks good. Solid listings as well. HTX, Bybit, BitGet. I can see this one doing maybe a, a 20x in the bull run from here. Next we have Brett. Pretty big meme. Almost like a blue chip meme coin at this point. Brett is the kind of go-to base meme. Chart's looking really, really strong, to be honest. The fact that this is so big, you'd, you'd think maybe there's something that we don't, right? There's something that's going on that we don't know. Maybe a Binance listing is on the cards. So yeah, looking super strong right now for brett really really strong the official go-to kind of meme on base everyone's talking about it how many x's has brett got left i'm not too convinced there's going to be a ton of x's left unless it sees a big dip um but it is linked to pepe so if pepe does really well maybe if pepe goes to like a 40 billion market cap then brett could go to like five six seven billion and that would be around a 10x from here so I think it's got a 10x kind of potential on this one. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Another one we have is Toshi, another kind of blue chip base meme. Oh, it's, it's weird saying blue chip for a meme coin, but it is kind of true. You know, this is a, a safer meme coin on base. Again, if you want a meme coin on base, Toshi is a decent meme. We have Solana as another pick here. 14 million market cap. This is on Solana. It's a spin on the name Solana. Obviously, I don't really need to explain it too much. Market cap is pretty low, down 84%. We've seen these cryptos go down a lot and then come back and have a major revival. In fact, I think Solama actually did this previously, right? They had a huge pump and then they had a huge dump and then they did also revive. So pretty good meme here. Solana meme coins seem like they're kind of being overshadowed right now by base meme coins. Maybe when base cools down, Solana will pump. Who knows? But this is a, a decent play. And finally... I think this might be the 15th or 14th. I don't know who cares, who, who actually counts the number that there is in a video. When it says top 10 or top 15, who actually counts, right? So the next one we have is Roost, and that is a $60 million market cap on base. You guys know I like my base meme coins, and this one is garnering a good amount of traction. It's got a decent amount of listings as well. A lot more to come, which is bullish. Yeah, the, the, the cartoon's pretty good. The art's pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to dig into this too much. But yeah, this one also can do some good gains. So check out Roost. Guys, make sure you've hit a like on the video if you did enjoy it. That was my 15 favorite AI and meme coin picks for the bull run. Make sure you're checking out the Patreon group. There is a discount for limited time only. Check it out, guys. It's in the description. I recommend this group, guys. Even if you don't go for the lifetime option, at least sign up for the monthly option and check it out for yourself. And then maybe you can go for the lifetime option once you consider that you like it. But yeah, you can get my meme coin degen trade. It looks like there is some more technical difficulties going on, guys. I guess they don't want me giving you guys the game because it's weird. 
all of a sudden, pretty deep into the live stream, things start to freeze up. So I guess, there we go. Looks like things are coming back. Let's see if I can close one of these browsers out. Let's see what we got here. I was trying to bring up this math uh, crypto, but I think things are cooperating again. So let's see here, bring math over. And I wanted to show you, what was this? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you mentioned two here. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get this window back up. Okay, there we go. You mentioned that you were mining, so I'm definitely mining a lithium, uh, pyron, cubics, uh, cedra, and who's that? On, uh, I just used that wallet, that uh, trade ogre, outside of that caspa thing being froze it's been okay with me some people have been complaining about it but i don't really hold it on there too long anyway so i just kind of get in get the tokens and move them over so this is don't forget to join the twitter channel looks like the twitter numbers are steadily going down which is interesting but this is altcoin buzz and these are the five altcoins under a dollar so i just wanted to show you guys this because these micro caps are going to be big in the bull run so a lot of people said they didn't want to invest in them or they don't want to watch them or they don't want to track them but i'm telling you guys even if you put just a little bit in i think it's going to pay off for you guys in the long run just some of these narrative narratives are pretty cool and you don't lose a lot if you put a hundred dollars on an altcoin yeah i like that pose in you as well but it is down i think i have it on um what was that uh uphold i got it on uphold but it's down currently so i'm not sure but let me know what you think about these five altcoins in the space that is one chain ticker w a n and really this is an old friend of ours as into 2024 oh yeah before we get into that this is math i was kind of show you that it's up 41 percent today and i want to say yesterday it was up 50 percent as well and this is also on the base chain uh market cap is 42.4 million trading volume is 50 sorry 54.4 million Trading volume is 56.3 million, up 24.80 and 24 hour volume, and market caps up 41.43%. And it's weird that the trading volume is more than the actual market cap. So, that was something I was looking at last night as well. If you get a chance, check out the live stream from last night. There's a lot of useful information on there. And this is altcoin buzz and this is wayne this is an old friend of ours as a project because it is the safest bridge in the crypto space period it has never been hacked and if you think the team at one chain is kicking back and taking a break you could not be more wrong they are active as ever as any good project should be right now as we continue to sail through this bull run this isn't hype i'm not beating around the bush in fact i'm going to kick off with some big news here just a couple of weeks ago, one chain integrated with the base chain. Check out this coverage of that development if you haven't already seen this video. And the result is that it connects base with nine other networks. Those being Arbitrum, Avalanche, BNB Chain, Celo, Ethereum, Metis, Optimism, Polygon, and of course, one chain. Currently, you can send ETH and USDC. Another thing that you may not know about one chain is that besides tokens, you can also send NFTs with one chain's bridge. And then another hugely important feature, of course, is OneChain's XFlows program. This allows you to send native assets cross-chain. And they offer this service currently with four tokens, BTC, USDT, USDC, and ETH. The One token, again, WAN, has been on a pretty strong run. Its current price, as I record, sits just below 37 cents. It's up about 40% over the course of the last month and about 35% up. If we are talking 
don't know if you guys got into Turbo when I first started talking about it, but for the week, it is up 23.6. For the day, it's up 8%. For the hour, it's up 4.6. So I think Turbo is finally starting to turn the corner and push up. You can see the seven-day chart looks like it peaked. Uh, had a pretty good run on April 8th. Came back down the 9th. Looks like it's starting to pull back consolidate and push up some more so let me know if you guys are into math or turbo i like turbo i like the project i like the team involved and the overall sentiment around how he came up with the idea and started pushing it so i'm definitely bullish on turbo as well for some reason Data is loading slow. Market cap is 53.7 million. I think I got in the market cap when it was around four or five million. Uh, 24 hour trading volume is 10.9 million. It's down 16% today. Looks like it's on HTX, OKX, GitIO, BitGet, Mexi, L Bank. And all time high is 0 0.0030. So it's down 72.3%. And that was a year ago, May 6, 2023. And current high, last 24 hours. Can you change this? Uh, 0 0.0007 and 0 0.0008. So definitely something to keep an eye on there as well. And let's get back to that video. Up over the course of the last year, it's been doing well, but this is only a $72 million market cap project. There is still a lot of room for upward price trajectory. So keep an eye on one chain. This altcoin buzz spotlight is sponsored by Morpheus Labs. Morpheus Labs offers multi-chain low-code solution for Web2 firms. My next pick here on this list of altcoins under $1 is Pith Network. Ticker, P Y T H. This is so I keep hearing about PIF Network as well, and I might actually look into it. I think it is on our crypto bubble, is it? Let's see. I thought it was on here. I thought I added it. Yeah, here it is. So there is down 2.9%, uh, up 0.9%, but there is a lot of sentiment about it. And someone said, look at mort so we'll give that a look real quick mm. going on coin market cap let's see if it's here and i guess this is it well you sold the turbo a long time ago looks like uh more tracking there's no data here so it might be on the dex tool let me look at the dex tool and uh we'll go back to pith this is an oracle and these are important for the crypto space because blockchains cannot communicate with the real life world it just can't right however they do rely heavily on data from the real life world so we have a conundrum here and there are many examples of this dependence on the real world data but an inability to communicate with it so Think of real-time crypto prices or any asset prices, gold, silver, oil, whatever, sports results, weather forecasts. Uh, that's just off the top of my head, but you know, you have a near infinite number of examples here potentially. But coming back to Pith, they specialize in financial markets. So for example, foreign exchange, equities, crypto, other commodities. It's active on over 50 blockchains and covers close to 100 major market participants. Think of places like Jane Street, CBOE, Binance, OKX, or Bybit. It's built on Solana, but it's also active on other chains. It uses bridges, like for instance, Wormhole, and Pith Network provides real-time price feeds for Solana, but also other chains. Chains like most EVM chains, Cosmos chains, Sui, as well as Near, N-E-A-R, and others. Compared to the biggest name in crypto oracles, which is, of course, Chainlink, Pith actually provides more updates per unit of time, so a higher frequency of updates which gives Pith a pretty significant edge over Chainlink as far as that level, that metric of performance goes. The Pith token, PYTH, is hovering just below 79 cents. Over the past 30 days, it's gone up by about 40% or so. 
considering that it was only launched back in November of 2023, so a few months ago, the price performance so far has been very good. It's already got a sizable market cap, $1.17 billion, but again, there's more room to grow here. Next up, and at number three on our list is Dopamine, ticker DOPE, D-O-P-E, which is a great... Uh, before we go into that, I did find this uh, Mort. This is Buy It on Jupiter and Dex Tools, but I don't see it uh, anywhere. There's some Reddit conversation about it. Strongest community takeover on Solana, potential 100x. So I'm trying to see if we can pull it up on the Dex Tools. I know the last two things I bought on Dex Tools, I got burnt. I think they were like pump and dumps, and I got in kind of late, so I'm kind of cautious. Uh, seems that the Dex tools, some of these are real gamble, so I don't know if you guys want to look into that as well. But okay, I'll put that in. This is a mobile crypto trading app on Solana. Very impressively, it already has 3.6 million users, and they hold around 20 billion dollars in crypto assets in their non-custodial wallets. Dopamine is also compliant. Uh, some of its features include the fact that it offers a non-custodial wallet. Its built-in anti-money laundering services are also very impressive. There's cross-chain NFT transactions, easy fiat on-ramps, and integration of DeFi gaming as well. And you can track your portfolio with access to over 10,000 coins. And they have various products here that are worth highlighting as well. A crypto super app, that's for the pro, Dopamine TV for Web3 influencers, Dopamine Easy, that's for beginners, and Quant's Infrastructure. This is AI and data science-based crypto predictions. The current price of Dope, that's again D-O-P-E, sits at about 10 and a half cents as I record. The project actually launched earlier this week. So uh, this market cap information is incomplete for that reason. It's still a little bit too early to determine specific metrics. However, Dope holders do get access to premium real-time trading signals. Keep an eye on this one. All right, moving right along to a big one here on the list. We're looking at number four, which is the graph, ticker GRT. It's a project, as you probably know, that's all about indexing blockchain data. Many, many, many times on this channel, uh, I've talked about DPIN, Cody's talked about DPIN, and the graph is really uh, a central pillar of this particular vertical of the DPIN narrative. The very simple fact is that human beings produce a lot of data, and here are some of the current samples and predictions. We create about 328.77 million terabytes of data per day. So in a year, uh, this year, for example, that's already approximately 120 zettabytes. And for 2025, we're looking at 181 zettabytes. So we're actually producing an increasing amount of data. The trend itself is growing. It is a number that increases every year. It shows no sign of relenting. And in DPIN, there are many protocols that handle data on on different levels, of course. Uh, like I said, the graph indexes the data with so-called subgraphs. Let me try to explain how this works. First of all, you begin by creating a subgraph. With a GraphQL query, you can access these organized data with ease. Then you can load these data into an app. And the graph already supports over 50 networks, including test nets. And it offers three main products. The subgraph studio, where you can create, manage, and publish subgraphs and API keys. Graph Explorer, where you can explore subgraphs and interact with the protocol, and Hosted Service, where you can create and explore subgraphs on the hosted service. The price of GRT right now is sitting just below 34 cents or so. During the last year, the token is up something like 155%. Just keep in mind that there's still lots of room to grow because it's about 88% down from its all-time high. 
which was $2.84 in February of 2021. So we're still a seven or eight X away from uh, that high watermark. All right. And finally, last but not least on our list here, we're looking at Beam. B-E-A-M. And this is where we enter the blockchain gaming realm specifically. The organization behind Beam is Merit Circle, and they already had their own... Oh, wow. I was really talking and was on mute. Okay, so this is Osmosis, uh, $1.26 down 8.2% for the day. Uh, see if we can go back up. Uh, point down, 0 0.79, 820 six point seven million 24 hour trading volume down 13.9 30.9 million and looks like it is a pretty good website earn swap and build on the leading decentralized cosmos exchange so let me know if anyone is using this exchange or what it is if it's a token versus exchange largest interchain dex 172 178.2 million TVL, 24, 23 million 24-hour trading volume, and 100, 1,000 plus interactive chains. So let's see. Map of zone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, liquidity, 178 million. So this is osmosis cosmos uh celestial uh a cost network wrap bitcoin ethereum and x xl xl and this is pretty cool actually the zone of map of zones this is osmosis uh a cost uh seller stellar sorry cosmos uh, see if you know any of these. No, no, no. Stargaze, Secret, Terra, uh, Juna, and just Chihuahua? Just looking through some of the. This is actually a pretty cool. Uh, can we do overviews for other ones? So I'll check that out later because this is actually something I'm going to play around with it. So let me know what you guys think about this osmosis and the zones. It was actually a pretty good find. Shout out to Israel brother uh, Lorenzo, financial failure, and Texas crypto. So let's finish this video with uh, Beam. MC token. However, when they launched Beam with its Beam token, they decided to migrate their MC token. And the conversion ratio is that one MC gives you 100 Beam. And Beam's governance comes in the form of a DAO. It's integrated with layer zero, which offers easy transfers across chains. However, Beam is also an avalanche subnet. And these subnets run separately from the main chain. 
They also have their own validator network. However, it also takes full advantage of the fast transactions and low fees that Avalanche offers. Beam also offers a couple of features and tools. So for example, we have the Beam SDK, a software development kit for developers, of course. We have a swap, an AMM that utilizes the Uniswap V2 protocol, a bridge, which is the layer zero bridge, and there's Sphere Marketplace, where you can buy and sell NFTs, an essential part, of course, in any blockchain gaming ecosystem. The native Beam token, B-E-A-M, powers the platform. And as I mentioned earlier, the MC token will migrate to Beam. You can do this up until the 26th of October this year. So October 26th, 2024. And since its launch in October of 2023, a few months ago, the Beam token has already done a 3x. And I would urge you not to underestimate the power of blockchain gaming. It's a sector that is going to continue to grow and really by all estimations, by all accounts, continue to be one of the strongest crypto narratives in this bull run and beyond. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall. So, yeah, uh, moving forward, those were the top five altcoins under a dollar. And this is uh, Zeus, Crypto Zeus. And these are top meme coins for 2024. Uh, so let's see if any of the meme coins we've been talking about are on this list. And he's starting with a uh, dog with a hat. Percent today, which is you know a bit of a retracement. But having said that, it's had a very nice run in the last year. So if you actually have a look at the price graph right here, looking super bullish and a uh, little bit of volatility in the last 24 hours. So I do think... If the bull run continues, so to what coin did you say is a good coin, go uh, Israel brother? This crypto, it could be a nice one to definitely have on the radar as a big potential crypto. So I wouldn't be surprised if Dog with Fat, you know, one day goes to ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. It definitely has a lot of potential, and uh, the crypto market could get very, very crazy. Another crypto retracing the crypto market still has big potential. It's going to be Pepe. So Pepe down. Yeah, around 8.2% today in the crypto market. So hovering roughly around the $3 billion level for this crypto. So taking a bit of a breather as the Bitcoin price goes down. If we have a look at the X account of Pepe, you know, lots of nice memes getting dropped over on here. So crypto.com, choose your starter. So guys, let me know in the comment section below, who would you choose out of SHIB, Doge, or Pepe? Interested to hear your thoughts. Would it be Pepe? Comment down below, but that is the fresh uh, Pokemon meme right there. And uh, definitely, you know, a crypto I do think has big potential. So at the moment, you know, we haven't really surged into a massive bull run just yet. I still think there's plenty of potential retail money out there. And Pepe could definitely be one of these cryptos that, uh, you know, gets a lot of retail adoption, basically. So it has a huge amount of potential. It's already a big crypto, so $3 billion, But I wouldn't be surprised if Pepe does something crazy in the future. You know, it goes to $50 billion. Potentially, it could go to $100 billion. So there's still a lot of room to grow in Pepe the crypto. Another crypto, it's down a bit today, but it has done some very good marketing in the past. It's Miro. So Miro cruising in around $0.23. Cents. It's a bit of a, you know, a medium to small cap meme coin, so 229 mil in market cap. And it has great marketing over on X. And I do think, you know, if you're looking for catalysts for Miro, what would really push up the Miro price? I do think it confirmed, you know, Binance listing would uh, do it for Miro. So Miro definitely has a lot of potential out there. I think it's a, it's a good crypto. And I do think, uh, you know, if they can, you know, really actually land a Binance listing, over the long term, it will be good for this crypto. So that's potentially could be a catalyst that pushes it up to like a billion uh, to kick things off with. And again, you know, if Myro is a crypto that can go down this hybrid utility path, maybe, you know, get the bots going on Solana, getting some utility built out right there. It definitely could be an exciting play. So Myro is definitely one to have on the radar, even though it is retracing in the crypto market today. Another crypto, big community behind this one, down just slightly today in the crypto market vault. So down 5.3%. You guys know this is a low cap meme coin. Lots of people behind this crypto. And I'm a believer of uh, if the vault, you know, community developers, they get some really exciting utility. It's definitely a crypto that has potential to grow. So I'm always bullish on those cryptos that uh, have a real living community. You can see them over on X, you know, commenting, sharing photos. So Vault is definitely, I think it's a battle tested crypto. And uh, despite the volatility, I still think Vault's going to do a lot of uh, good things in the crypto market. Lots of memes dropping constantly for this crypto. 
plus a lot more. You can see spaces. So definitely keep, you know, Vault on the radar as a long-term low-cap meme coin in the crypto space. And also want to shout out Mochi as well. So Mochi down 18.7%, but I do think this one has a very strong narrative. And I am still going to believe, you know, if the developers can really, you know, execute some good things on this. So get on to more crypto exchanges, you know, potentially big marketing pushes, utility pushes. Definitely could be one that potentially explodes in the long term as well. So I'm going to stay patient on that. See what happens with that crypto. And having said that, those updates about those big potential meme coins with that millionaire potential. Let's talk about this one because it is still making a huge amount of waves. It's not, it hasn't hit the crypto market just yet. So Katamoto, I've seen some big news break about this. And have a look at this. It's actually launching onto Ape Terminal. So if you guys don't know Ape Terminal, it's probably one of the most exciting, you know, launch pad areas of crypto. You're going to see a lot of exciting projects come onto Ape Terminal. Uh, and it's a big, you know, it's a big platform. So to see Cat, Catmoto, Katamoto, uh, you know, get listed on Ape Terminal as a launch pad, this is, you know, very interesting to me. So there is a lot of hype, you know, going into Katamoto right now. So could this be one? that explodes. It does have those different dynamics of a meme coin launch. So this is a meme coin launch I haven't seen done before. So generally in meme coins, what tends to happen is people raise, you know, lots of Solana or lots of BNB or Ethereum, and then they launch the crypto. This one's doing a little bit different. So they're actually setting aside a lot of the money raised from the pre-sale, 19.8 uh, thousand BNB, which is a crazy amount of money for buybacks. So it's a definitely a different type of project. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how it goes. And I did tell you guys in yesterday's video, remember, you know, if this tokenomics stays the same, there is a, you know, a minor burn tax for Tencent. So a buy Are you guys using this ape uh, coin, this ape token, or what is this, this ape uh, platform for tokens? I hear a lot of people talking about it. I just haven't. Uh, researched it or got involved in it, but I'm trying to make uh, reconnect to Instagram. So let me keep playing this video, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Buy up and burn on Tencent. You can actually see, you know, as we predicted on the channel, a lot of the crypto price is going down. But have a look, Tencent starting to kind of inch up a bit. So this is interesting to me. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks. You know, once Katamoto launches. Where does the ten set price go if there's a lot of volume? There's a lot of buy ups of ten set as a you know as an auxiliary benefit uh, from Katamoto. So two things to watch out for for Katamoto. So again, this one if this gets huge amounts of hype, huge amounts of attention, it's got an explosive launch with buy ups and burns and buybacks and things like that. Katamoto itself, the price of this one might be an explosive crypto to definitely watch out for. And then also watch out for those uh, you know benefits flowing through to the ten set crypto as well. So definitely. Definitely interesting dynamics at play. And it's always good, in my opinion, again, to learn about these things early. So again, I'm putting this one on the radar early. You guys can do your research into this. But again, this is one of the philosophies of crypto. So if you know about projects early, you know, it's going to put you way ahead of the pack, in my opinion. It doesn't mean you have to buy. It just means, you know, you have that awareness in the crypto market. And having awareness, having the alpha, that is what gets you ahead in crypto. Learning about projects early. And then definitely, you know, if you're up, you can lock away some profits to, uh, you know, mitigate your downside in crypto. So remember, there's a lot of volatility in the market. Lots of new coins might shoot up, they might shoot down. But one thing you can control is, uh, you know, if you lock away some profits in the crypto market and uh, have a long-term mindset on some crypto projects as well. But guys, that is a massive update for the meme coins. A bit of volatility, but I'm staying long-term bullish. Guys, comment down below what meme coin are you most long-term bullish on. So, yeah, he kind of hit the... Uh nail on the head there with some of the meme coins and some of the volatility so this guy is making a spreadsheet and i tried to see the spreadsheet but i can't find it but it is about actually pretty interesting let me run it back a little bit and i'll let you guys listen to it importantly how much money i'll have to make if i factor in tax this is where people get really cut out yeah gotta factor in tax so I've added a 25% flat tax fee on top because I run it through a business. I'm working on a flat uh, tax of 25%. Most of you in the likes of Australia and some of you guys overseas, different tax bracket systems are applied, but ultimately you'll end up paying a lot more tax typically. So factoring in the 25%, what I need to obtain to achieve my goal of just under $5 million to achieve my actual goals 
is 6.1 million US dollars. So that's a huge difference. If I didn't do that, I'd be literally paying a, like a large sum of this. Again, the difference between these two is roughly about $1.2 million. So there goes most of my dreams of owning those properties. Okay, so all I'm trying to say is it's very important to do this, which is why I will add it to this sheet. Now, I can't take full credit for this design of the sheet because this was all inspired by one of the private community members, Ryan Grubb. He shared this in the exit plan uh, section of one of the uh, levels and he had this beautifully designed excel spreadsheet which again i copied and modeled mine off when we're talking about this is make sure you're setting up a exit plan and this guy has some pretty good uh information here about what price to consider the first exit the second exit and the third exit and i wish i could get my hands on the spreadsheet so i'll look around and see if it's out there anyway or see if he has it available on his discord albeit with some alterations and alterations specifically to help people who adopt this sheet after i'm finished using it for my own portfolio so big shout out to ryan grubb for the design of the sheet so after we've worked out our goals again it all stems from this yes i didn't want to buy a Corvette or any sort of car with the money. I think a car can come later, but ultimately you only live life once, guys. If you can make money, make money and enjoy it. But the reason why cost basis is important because we have to know how much we've invested on today's date to fix. So, uh, financial failure is by YouTube, Paula Crypto and Web3. It's just like this spreadsheet. So, do you have the spreadsheet on your site? There's a good. spreadsheet in one of my videos well what video do you know what video you have the spreadsheet on figure out from this point in time how many required multiples we actually need okay the reason i've left more in here is because of course in the next six months i might add in a couple more of these to then work out how much i've dca'd over time to reconfigure the multiples to reconfigure the whole entire plan the more money i put in so long as the money i'm putting in it will achieve my goals of well in this case a bare minimum an 18 and a half x then i'm going to be able to of course just throw in more money right but of course when you throw in more money you have more cost basis which means you get closer to the grand total which means you can lower your multiples so it all works hand in hand and it's all programmed in i've also put in the exchange rate here so i can i know for later on if i need to what the exchange rate is at that time again that was all inspired by ryan so then we come down to the really meat and potatoes i would say of the of the plan here so this is the uh the coins obviously and the amount i hold so of course you'll have to go in and do this all yourself this is why i keep track of everything in coin stats so working out the cost basis in essence pretty simple right how much i've invested per coin i mean you go to coin stats and you can kind of like try to work out how much money you've made you know minus the total you currently have right now per coin that can get quite fiddly and inaccurate so all you got to do is obviously multiply the amount of tokens you hold by the average buy-in price you currently have you get the average uh, buy-in price or your cost basis in total, which is where this is stemmed from. And then of course the average sell price I'm looking to obtain. And now this is of course has to be manual. All I've basically done is for most of these coins, I've figured out, again, I've used my uh, price prediction sheet I have in the private community and also my existing knowledge to work out what I'm likely going to sell at in terms of my goals, to achieve my goals. Now you'll find some of these are a bit hopeful is maybe the word to use in this case. Like with render for 150 bucks over here likely that will change but again i have this as a temporary structure because when i add more money in i can reduce this sell price because i'll still achieve my goals okay so again i will be putting more money into render as time progresses i will likely end up selling render ideally around 90 bucks or so which i think will be just over a 10x for me. I want at least a 10x out of Render and Celestia. I think Celestia can definitely okay, hit 200 so bucks, mind I, you, but it's Render that I'm a little bit concerned about with that higher price. Other than that, I think all of these are very obtainable. Uh, you know, Near Protocol, Pith, might, this might surprise some of you guys. Hedera 165. I mean, this will all be reduced as I begin to dollar cost average and I put more money into the market. Okay. So this is a starting benchmark from where I'm at today. And this all comes down to an estimated ROI, okay? Very simple. And then we get 
uh, million US dollars, which as we can see here, if we factor in the amount required and the very total, including tax, it's over by about $400,000, okay? So we're actually exceeding that, but it's important to exceed that because what comes next is utmost important, okay? What I'm doing for all of my altcoins is having an initial investment out level. So I'm taking my cost basis, so I'm taking all the money I invest off the table on all of my coins, okay? So not everything from that point in time is going to be profit. So with HBAR, for example, if I zoom in, my initial investment out level is $1. So I'm taking out all the money I invested in HBAR at that point in time, and I have about nine other sell levels for HBAR. The max I believe HBAR would probably go to on an average is about two bucks. People are saying, you know, even three or four bucks. We'll see. I mean, I think two bucks is likely the ceiling here. And so I'm going to get out at 165 and have all these sell levels. And but again, importantly, this purple level is the initial investment out level. Well, what this actually means, and I didn't. So shout out to financial failure. I did find that spreadsheet and I put it in the chat window. And I'm also going to put it on this video uh, link. So let me know if you guys can access it or if you're having any issues there. I didn't realize this until about a month ago was the fact that when you take your initial investment out of your projects or your portfolio, you have to recalibrate everything from that point on a new total, on how many tokens you have left over. So you'll see here, I have 531,000 HBAR tokens remaining if I sell my cost basis at $1, okay, my initial investment. And so this was slightly lower then of course the amount I have right now, which is 566,000. So of course my new total, which will work out from the rest on this point is 531,000 tokens, okay? Not the initial starting amount. What that again means is it's as if I had a whole new portfolio starting from 531,000 HBAR tokens after you take the cost basis out. The cost basis never existed, okay? So from this point, we can have a look, we recalibrate everything, okay? We have a new cost basis per coin. So of course, it'll be slightly less than what I actually put in per each of these coins. You'll see 32,000 for H by now was 34,000. Let's just go to render. I've invested 16,900 bucks. It's now down to 14,000, of course. And I mean, you can manipulate this, right? You can work out. I mean, if you change the uh, initial investment level surrender, let's just say we change it to 90 bucks, of course, it's going to change everything in this case and allow us to have a higher total. But of course, we're not going to be doing that because I think 70 bucks is a pretty decent initial investment level, maybe even too high. And so, of course, from this point, we can work out how much multiples are required for us to achieve our goal. Again, keep in mind, our goal is this point over here, the very, very bottom number on that goal section and then how much we actually obtain if we follow this principle, okay? How much we actually obtain if we were to sell all of our positions, all of our remaining tokens at that new uh, cost basis point, okay? Which comes to 4.4 uh, million US dollars. So as you can see over here, it's slightly higher than what we actually need. So again, just to summarize here, we overestimate if we are going to be taking out our initial investment level because taking our initial investment level out, we have to reconfigure our entire portfolio to reflect a new portfolio because this didn't exist now. If you weren't taking your initial investment out, it works a bit differently because notice down here when we start selling and uh, individual altcoins, we can work off profit. If you don't sell your initial investment, okay, so you don't take your cost basis out, what happens? Well, this is considered a revenue. You still have to take out how much money you put in at the end of the day per altcoin. All right, but this is all profit. This is all house money we're dealing with here. That's why I think taking initial investments is very important. I screwed up the last bull run. I do not want to screw up another bull run. Again, I've given each of my coins a maximum of nine sell levels. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell all of these old coins at nine levels. You can see Pith, Flux, Fetch, Manta, so on. I'm just going to show you the example of HBAR. Obviously, this video would be like an hour long if I showed you every single coin. The private community tier three will have access to all of this. Uh, available from my side of things. And so it's very simple. I mean, if you want to go ahead and do this yourself, if you are in the private community, or if you just want to work it out in your own time, it's very simple. So I'm doing nine cell levels for H buys. You can see over here represented by these green. Again, this cost basis level never happened. That's extinct. That's just us recalibrating over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including the, the actual red line itself, the price we're intending to, to sell at, which is our target price over here. And then of course, we just work out what those sell levels are. So you have to go through yourself and figure out and punch in. I mean, just guesstimate, just throw in some random levels around your exit level and see what works out. Okay. Punch them all into here manually. And then I would just pretty much throw in 
random percentages to equal 100%. So, you know, you might want to throw in 10% uh, here. Oh, okay, we're 5% over. So you might want to take out 15, 5% uh, off the top, make that 15 to round it up to 100%, whatever, okay? You can work that out yourself to make sure that this is all 100% and just do trial and error. Our weighted average, if we do this, sell at these levels at this percent, will equal this weighted average. So you can see we're actually just beneath 1.645, 1.65, we're just beneath the target price. So it's ever so slightly, but as you'll see in a second here, it makes a pretty big effect. So let's pretend that we're happy with this, right? We're okay with losing our target price of $1.65. We're okay with selling at $1.64.5. So again, just less. And as we can see here, it'll calculate the uh, quantity of tokens we do sell based on these numbers at each level. So you can go ahead and plug this in to your own uh, exchange, for example. And then it can work out again, how many tokens remaining. So of course you wanna have zero at the end of this last sell level. If this is not zero, something went wrong. And then your profit, okay? We'll see here, now proposed total for HBAR was 876,000, which again was this number up here, 876,000, which again was required for us to reach our overall target goal to achieve this up here. And we can see that we actually fell just short 874,000. So we're about, what's that, three, two, three thousand dollars uh, less okay so that's small little change there by what well, that's that's not even half a multiple really um that's like half of a half of a multiple it changed by two thousand dollars right which again isn't a massive deal so i wouldn't really change too much about this in that case but you can see our weighted average is slightly less than the actual target price which means that of course it has that effect and so this is all you need to do really you just go ahead and punch your sell levels in punch your sell prices into your exchange and how much of your portfolio you sell which again represented by the quantity sold so you would just tell the exchange i want to sell 26,000 h buy at one dollar 20 and it will work the rest out for you okay all done and said in there but for those of you still confused i want to show you the example here with mina protocol from a fresh sheet it's very simple how to apply this okay so whether you want to go ahead and use this sheet yourself and sign up to the private community or whether you're someone who just wants to try to emulate the math on this, well, then here's how it works. So you have your different levels, okay? There's nine cell levels in here. I mean, you can have more. Maybe if I make this sheet available for you all, which I will, of course, I might add a few more levels just for those of you who want to have more. But in any case, you don't have to use all these levels. So we'll show you an example today with five levels, but again, you can use anything you'd like. Now, there's two very important numbers we have to find, first of all, for me in a protocol, okay? We have to find the amount of tokens we are selling after our initial investment, which is those 40,448 tokens, which is represented down here, okay? The quantity sold must equal that amount of tokens or something's gone wrong. And also the average sell price, which is $18, okay? We also need to figure out what our initial sell level is if we have one, which is important because we aren't going to be selling any lower than $8 if that is our initial risk off the table level. So armed with this information, of course, the first place I would recommend going to is TradingView, pulling up the chart of your project and plotting in the levels. The red line is our target of $18. The purple line is our initial investment level. So of course, I mean, theoretically, we can get rid of it if you want but I would suggest you keep it on there if you're a beginner because that will allow you to know where the levels really need to fall between. And we can just begin picking random levels. These green numbers here, I mean, we can throw this around here and this here and throw this up here and do whatever we really want to. But again, find the levels that you are comfortable with. There's no formula. There's no right answer for this. There really isn't. So throw them in places you think that make the most amount of sense for you. If it's $1 increments, it's $1 increments. If it's 50 cent increments, that's what you're going to go with. But either way, once you find these levels, and by the way, more doesn't equal better. Sometimes less is better. You can begin at plotting in the levels. So let's say we're selling our first level at $9. Then we're going to sell again at $10. Then Again, let's say 15 and then 18 and then 25, for example, is our five levels. Well, of course, to keep it simple, what do I always tell you guys? Just throw in a nice even amount amongst levels. So we're going to sell, you know, distribute our portfolio evenly amongst each level. So 20% at each level for these five levels. If you had 10 levels, it'd be 10%, so on, okay? If there was three, 33%, you guys get the idea. And so once this, you know, kind of plugs in, we get a benchmark of what we're dealing with here. So our target price of $18, well, as you can see here, we're off. We're only at $15.40. That's our price we're actually selling at. So if we did this, we would be selling actually down here. We'd be well and truly off our target, which is bad because what does that mean? As you can see here, our total sell profit comes to $730,000, not $830,000. So we're $100,000 off our target. Very simple. All you have to do is either one of two things. 
add or decrease the amount of sell level. So maybe you want to add another sell level over here at 30 bucks, for example. Of course, you'll have to sell some at that level. So maybe you want to make this uh, 10% and you want to make this one over here 10% as well to make sure it equals that 100%. And you can see it has moved up the average slightly. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to keep these five levels, okay? But maybe, let's say we want to get rid of 20% at the bottom and add in an extra 10% uh, on the top, so 30%. As you can see, we are now very close. We're almost there. We're about you know, $25,000 off. So let's say let's maybe make this 15% and then let's make this 25%. And again, you can begin playing around with it like that. You can see we've got even closer with $5,000 off right now. And you can just begin manipulating that as you will. So this provides you a nice, easy you know, way to work it all out. All you have to do is punch in two numbers over here. And again, there's no right answer. Just play around with it. Throw spaghetti at the wall. And to visualize this, come to trading view and actually plot this in. Now, our exit plan calculator we're actually working out here for the private community is in development still, but you'll be able to visualize this as you go through it with this um, all in one document on our website, okay? So that's coming very soon here, um, which will be available for the private community members. But I just want to let you all know, obviously, make sure this is 100%. So you're selling your entire portfolio. And this, the last level you should sell at will be zero because you're not selling any more tokens after you've sold the last lot of your tokens. So then all you have to do is go to an exchange, Binance, Coinbase, whatever, and say, hey, Binance, I want to sell me in a protocol at $9 and I want to sell approximately 4,745 tokens and boom, it'll spit the rest out for you. And then... So yeah, I've been trying to figure out, I did download the spreadsheet, but it does ask you for some information. So... Let's see here it's as far as we got uh, greed then it tells you the demonstration video now you click on the icon to go set it up wait a minute now you can click on your icon below oh okay that makes sense so i guess there is a reporting currency buyback drop percent and a percent to activate buyback opportunities and the required 24 hour gain for popping notification. So I guess there is a lot or a little amount of information here. So I guess I'll play around with it and we can talk about it later or this evening. So don't forget to download the video or download, watch the video, get the link. It's also on my Patreon page. You can sign up to get it there. Or I think it'll be in the Discord. But you can sign up and get it there. I don't want to hold you guys too long. The thing is, you got to have thousands of coins to be able to sell. Definitely. You got to have, but you got to have a plan. That's the whole thing with this uh, reporting tool. You got to have a plan. So basically, it's trying to tell you how to plan out your sales strategy. And I think that's what a lot of people miss. They don't have a sales strategy. They're just hoping it's going to blow up and hoping they can get them sold right before it blows up. But you got to have a sales strategy there as well. But uh, check out the video. Check out the link. I don't want to hold you guys too long. This is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Peace out, and let's get back to the money, guys. Thanks for joining and thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll get another video out either tonight or tomorrow. Peace out.